funding, uh, and uh, we will explore existing and potential financing uh, support mechanisms uh, that can help communities overcome these barriers. Throughout this discussion, uh, we will hear about ongoing projects, local plans, and the ideas uh, on how long-term investment can create sustainable and resilient communities. Lastly, we also hope that this discussion uh, will uh, foster connections and set the floor uh, to the fruitful co uh, coordination cooperation with uh, uh, between uh, in Ukrainian municipalities, financial institutions, and supporting organizations. So. Uh, Thank you, and let's start from our first speaker. Um, I invite to speak uh, Ms. Olena Krivoruchkina, who is the Deputy Chairman of the Committee of Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine on Environmental Policy and Nature Management. Dear Olena, what support can Verkhovna Rada provide to help communities implement their climate neutrality plans and raise funds for projects that improve their re resilience? Пані Олено, дуже дякуємо за приєднання до цієї панельної дискусії. І питання до вас, яку підтримку може надати Верховна Рада України місцевим муніципалітетам та громадам в впровадженні кліматичних політик та переході до кліматичної нейтральності? І також залучені фінансування на ці заходи. Дякую за запитання. Хотіла привітати регіональних лідерів. Дуже приємно, що ви тут. Це дуже важливо, тому що на державному рівні формується лише загальна рамкова стратегія, а вже реалізація цієї стратегії залежить виключно від вас особисто, від кожного, тому що кожен регіон має певні природокліматичні особливості, економічний потенціал різний. Буквально нещодавно ми... Yeah, first of all, I would like to thank uh, for uh, thank for invitation to this event and I want to greet all the regional leaders, all the mayors who are now here with us because it's crucially important because at the national level, at the level of uh, Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, we are only uh, elaborating some framework uh, solutions, but uh, it's up to you uh dear colleagues from regions to implement these solutions at your uh, local level and uh, of course uh, every city every town has its own peculiarities uh, namely geographic or uh, social uh, economic uh, circumstances that's why it's so important uh, to have you here with us today Хотіла ще додати, що восени Верховна Рада прийняла законопроект про основні засади кліматичної політики. І цей законопроект, він є рамковим, він визначає загальні напрямки руху нашого в задля досягнення цілей Green Deal 2030, Green Deal 2050, але ще раз акцентую увагу, що це лише рамка, а всі дії – стратегії, програми, політики, вони повинні формуватися виключно на регіональному рівні. So in October uh, this year, more than a month ago, uh, Верховна Рада adopted a framework uh, law on climate, national climate policy of Ukraine. But as I mentioned before, it's only a framework for, of uh, national importance, but it's, it's uh, setting up the framework at the national level. Ще хотіла додати, що екологічний комітет українського парламенту, він абсолютно прозорий, відкритий до співпраці. Ми готові ділитися напрацюваннями, досвідом і, скажімо, координувати певним чином цю діяльність для того, щоб розробити загальні механізми для адаптації для змін клімату. And also I would like to highlight that uh, the uh, Committee of Верховна Рада on Environmental Policy is open and transparent and very cooperative so uh, we would like to use this opportunity and the uh, opportunities presented back at home to strengthen our cooperation with uh, uh, local leaders to uh, implement the solutions we uh, elaborate 
Так ще хотіла зазначити, що я депутат обраний від певного мажоритарного округу і від округу з критичним станом навколишнього середовища, я із Кривого Рогу, і тому дійсно я би порадила контактувати з мажоритарниками депутатами, які здатні допомогти, це перша пропозиція, да, які здатні допомогти або долучитися до екокомітету, створювати спільні засідання, створювати да, певні діалоги, діалоги, які значно спростять впровадження цих механізмів в їх розробку. And as a member of parliament elected in a regional uh, electoral district, so namely I was elected in Kriverich, I would like to recommend to all local leaders to engage with the members of parliaments elected in your uh, regional districts so that uh, they can help you to establish this collaboration we are talking about. Також я хотіла ще додати про роль діалогу з бізнесом і громадськістю. Це дуже важливо. В кожному регіоні є громадські організації, які опікуються довкілевими проблемами, є дуже активними. І зараз ще хотіла буквально пару слів про співпрацю з бізнесом. And also I would like to highlight the necessity to cooperate with uh, non-governmental organizations. Uh, we have plenty of environmental NGOs active in every region of Ukraine. And also I would like to add some words about the cooperation with business. Да, чим депутати можуть бути корисні регіональним лідерам? Саме у, у такій співпраці з залученням е, представників бізнесу можна обговорювати інноваційні проекти. І, як приклад, Арселор Мітал Кривий Ріг, підприємство, яке було най... і є, залишається, на жаль, найбільшим забруднювачем, але воно і перед війною, і навіть в період війни закрило багато шкідливих виробництв. Я можу їх перерахувати, які і Мартен – це до війни, і Аглоцех металургійного виробництва. Yeah, and uh, also members of parliament uh, can serve as uh, very useful mediators and facilitators of cooperation between local authorities and businesses. As an example, I would like to uh, tell an example of ArcelorMittal, that is uh, one of the biggest metallurgical plants in whole Ukraine and in Europe, I guess. And although they are still the major pollutant in Kriverich, in recent years uh, they have uh, implemented a lot of uh, environmental projects to decrease uh, its uh, em- uh, poll- 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 pollution and levels of emissions. Namely, they in, uh, re- renovated some, some, some uh, parts of their production. Саме такий діалог з бізнесом, я зараз вже закінчу, саме такий діалог з бізнесом, він дійсно дає свої результати. Звісно, ми усвідомлюємо, в яких непередбачуваних умовах ми живемо, тобто в умовах Запоріжжя говорити про е- модернізацію металургійних комбінатів, ну, це недоречно. Yeah, and of course, uh, this cooperation with business should take into account the uh, reality of uh, wars, war in Ukraine. So, for example, in Zaporizhia, it's hardly possible now to talk about renovation, about uh, the uh, implementation of some innovative solutions as this city is under constant attacks from Russian occupying forces. Um. Ще хотіла би додати, що ми нарешті прийняли законопроект, який дуже довго ми не могли, так скажімо, просунути у парламенті. Це законопроект про інтегроване запобігання і контроль промислового забруднення. Цей законопроект передбачає обов'язкову екологічну модернізацію підприємств. Тому це вже, скажімо, така підтримка. І ще раз е, акцентую увагу на тому, що підприємства по-різному реагують. Да? Є підприємства соціально орієнтовані, є підприємства, які вважають це недоречним і невчасним. Але наш євроінтеграційний вибір не дає нам іншого шляху, ми це повинні зробити і це від нас вимагають. Uh, another uh, legislative novelty and uh, the law on integra- in- integrated emissions, uh, industrial emissions decrease uh, was uh, adopted by Verkhovna Rada in summer this year. It was a very long process and this law has been elaborated for years or even more than 10 years, but eventually 
we finally passed it and it was one of the um, requirements for European integration of Ukraine. And although, of course, to implement the uh, norms of this new law will be a huge task for Ukraine, it's a step forward for us as a country that uh, strives to join the European Union and we must implement this uh, directive into Ukrainian legislation. Ви завжди можете розраховувати на підтримку екологічного комітету парламенту. Будемо працювати разом, залучаючи всіх стейкхолдерів. Дякую. And as a conclusion, I would like to highlight that you can always count on the support from the Committee of Верховна Рада on Environmental Policy and I would be happy to collaborate with you in the future. Thank you. Пані Олено, дуже дякую. Thank you very much. Um, and, uh, and now I want to invite to speak Ms. Maria Malaya, Deputy Head of the State Agency of Energy Efficiency and Energy Saving of Ukraine. Uh, uh, Maria should be with us online. Uh, could you please uh, show up the screen? Yes. We see you. Uh, dear Maria, uh, please tell us how state agency of energy efficiency supports municipalities to enhance their energy security and resilience of the coming budgetary limitations they face today. Uh, how does the carbonization fund address cities' needs uh, for, flex for flexible financing models tailored to local government capacities? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anna, and uh, good day for everyone. It's a great honor for me to be with you today. And uh, as you may know, since March uh, this year, Ukraine has lost nine gigawatt of capacity due to targeted airstrikes. So the main uh, goal for uh, our agency to uh, reduce energy deficit uh, through energy efficiency and uh, development uh, distributed generation from renewables. And to achieve these goals, the government on one hand um, simplifies uh, regulation as much as possible and on other hand creates new financial instruments for all uh, target groups uh, includes municipality business uh, of course households so uh, for example to promote uh, the distributed generation from uh, renewables uh, a lot of measures can be taken. For example, uh, goods uh, that um, contribute to the restoration of Ukraine energy system, including cogeneration plants and solar station, uh, heat pumps, uh, exempt uh, from import duty and excise tax. Uh, in addition, income from the sale uh, of electricity generated by qualified cogeneration units is exempt from excise tax. And uh, license requirements for production of thermal energy by cogeneration units up to 5 megawatt have been cancelled. Uh, we understand that the implementation of measures such as um, reducing taxes, lowering administrative uh, burdens, and easing commissioning procedures will be inefficient as uh, uh, if we don't uh, have uh, a proper financial support. Therefore, at the uh, beginning of uh, last year, Parliament adopted the law to establish uh, state decarbonization and energy efficiency transformation fund. And uh, this fund uh, 
operate on the polluter pays principle. And uh, I would like to highlight that it's a um, very innovative mechanism for Ukraine because it is not uh, just about grants, it's a revolving mechanism. And uh, this year, our government approved the procedure for spending money uh, from this fund. And today, uh, this fund uh, is uh, working and we start uh, uh, to uh, finance. We uh, already stand in, uh, start financing. And the fund resources, uh, one and a half billion grivnas uh, per year will be distributed among, uh, first of all, first direction state uh, financial company, decarbonization fund of Ukraine uh, for low rate loans uh, from nine to seven percent in grivnas and uh, loans uh, could be uh, used uh, for 10 years. And uh, these loans for business and municipalities. And business includes ESCO companies. And uh, last month, we start selection of projects and uh, other directions of uh, this uh, state support program is uh, uh, reduced loan cost from our state banks. Also for municipalities and businesses. Uh, the funding according to uh, these programs could be used uh, for all projects that in energy efficiency, renewables, or decarbonization. For example, for distributed generation, renovation, EPC contracts, um, thermal modernization, industry modernization, all list of energy efficiency measures and decarbonization measures. And uh, last uh, month, five loans were disbursed, uh, and all of them uh, uh, was for municipality, uh, including EPC contract, including uh, modernization of uh, city light system. So uh, we uh, ready to. Uh, development our mechanism and uh, we are already working to uh, expanding uh, the mechanism of fund and plan to launch financial leasing and factoring programs. Thank you. Maria, thank you very much uh, for your presentation and uh, for work you do. Um, because um, <clears throat> this uh, decarbonization, decarbonization fund uh, also leverages the uh, private investment via ESCO companies into uh, modernization of uh, uh, public uh, buildings or uh, municipal uh, entities. Uh, thank you very much for this. Uh, now, uh, I want to invite to speak uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Oksana Kisil. Uh, who is a Covenant of Mayors country expert to Ukraine. Uh, I know that the uh, Covenant of Mayors and um, you personally, Oksana, greatly support cities in Ukraine with developing the sustainable energy and climate action plans. Uh, could you please present existing challenges and bottlenecks for sustainable local development in Ukraine? And how long-term investment planning can contribute to green transition and energy security of communities? Oksana is online with us. The floor is yes. yours. Yeah, colleagues, uh, colleagues, first of all, I would like to send to thanks everybody who is now in uh, Baku because uh, your mission is important for Ukraine. You are Ukrainian visibility and uh, just now we must be uh, more stronger as, as 
uh, two years ago because Russia is more uh, ha has more uh, voices just now as several years ago. We need to talk about uh, what we need to talk about uh, uh, Russia as a, uh, and Russia's partners. But what's important, we need to, to talk about green and resilience future of Ukraine within the recovery process. And uh, I would like to draw your attention that all municipalities which sign covenant of mayors uh, are responsible for climate neutrality till 2050. Uh, it means that each municipality needs uh, two uh, horizons of uh, investments plan. The first one is uh, till 2030, and the second part is more strategic, but if you want to be a real um, efficient partner for you, we need to plan till 2050 and move to private neutrality. I understand perfectly that it's not so easy and um, not so important maybe just now for such regional as Sumy, Kharkiv, and for example, uh, the Parisia or Petro uh, Petrovsk regional because for these uh, regions, municipalities are important to have more sustainability heating season, uh, season to be more sustainability with um, attacks, but Without strong planning, uh, sustainability uh, investments, uh, we could attract less money in our municipalities. This was, uh, that's why our key message, we need to think about future local economy. We need to think about future social impact. We need to think about climate change and how it will be work on the level of uh, our regional and we need to have two horizons for planning till 2030 and till 2050. Just now we are moving with four municipalities. I am in the car, I apologize. We're moving uh, to Warsaw to rebuild the form and of course we will talk about investments because uh, Ukrainian municipalities uh, need not only grant or technical assistance program. Ukrainian municipalities need more finance from international financial uh, finance institutions, but uh, there is a lot of barriers if we speak about interest rate. Uh, interest rate. When we speak uh, with EU mayors, uh, interest rate on, for example, EBRD or other European ba bank is above 1%, one percent, one or fifty, but train municipalities is more than five percent. And it's mm, not so economic efficient for Ukrainian municipalities. That's why we need to engage more stakeholders for a deep discussion what type of finance mechanism uh, are Ukrainian municipalities uh, will need will need in the future within Ukrainian recovery process. But uh, what is important, we need to think not about green recovery process, we need to think about green and resilience recovery process. We need to include climate change adaptation into a national agenda of recovery policy too. It's our, our common message. But I think uh, three representatives of Ukrainian municipalities will add their position. And again, we are ready to discuss the type and uh, potential finance uh, finance mechanism for Ukrainian. Thanks a lot. Oksana, thank you very much. And now I uh, uh, want to uh, pass the floor to our uh, local leaders. Uh, so the next question I want to address to the Deputy Mayor of Zaporizhia, Mr. Viktor Horodinsky. Uh, dear Viktor, uh, please tell us how Zaporizhia, despite the constant attacks, uh, uh, implement development projects. Uh, what are your plans and how do you find funding to implement them? Thank you very much. Uh, 
Hello, congratulations, uh, dear friends, dear guests. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, elected uh, official of Protect America with final support from uh, the first fuel for such as the support of uh, municipalities in the pacification in COP28 and our organization support uh, from the government of Mile is secretariat. Uh, first of all, we all, we all hope that together, together with uh, our partners, uh, uh, we'll sign win and be able to pay even more planet attention to climate change. As for the Oxana questions, uh, it's reality. Today, the city of Zaporizhia is every day in under daily attacks from the Russian Federation. Uh, all the targets is civil objects. It's the private housings, it's a residence building, it's a hospital, it's a education institution, infrastructure facilities. But they doesn't stop us. We continue, we continue to enter the uh, started product, projects and prepare new owns with your support because only together we can change the world and even the climate for the better. What are our plans? Mm. But the first to, uh, to the build back better, to improve, to improve energy uh, saving system with the uh, efficiency use of all resources and the uh, related technology for the carriers, uh, reeducation carbon emission, uh, increase in the use of solar energy, use of water and uh, wine energy. All this is possible in our region. Today, we have a new challenge in our region. They almost completely destroyed Nipro Hydroelectric Power Station. Uh, you can see with this our panel, it's the largest hydropower electric station in Ukraine. And uh, Russian Federation is uh, destroyed this. And uh, you can see photo in uh, uh, planchet. Uh, and uh, the Parisian nuclear power plant, the largest in Europe too, is under occupation. Uh, the main distribution and transformation power facility and uh, damage and destroyed. Uh, we, with my colleague, have uh, the strategy and physical capability to install distribute uh, distributed uh, electrical uh, generation up to 300 megawatts. It's for our partners and uh, welcome to the Parisia to uh, together implement this technology in our regions. What is uh, our way out? We need you and more the solution that will give uh, the opportunity to build uh, a network of distributed electric energy independence of uh, the external city, uh, central network protected, protected uh, and increase is real estate 10 foot. We build solar, uh, we build solar power plants to the roofs of administrative buildings and uh, walk on land plots of municipality enterprise using batteries for storage. Today in Zaporizhia, together with uh, USAID, uh, we are finished the development of the city herd supply scheme uh, and uh, we will definite it ought to be coming of 2025 and today we are looking for uh, support and partnership for this implementation if it, if we talk about the um, reconstruction uh, built back better by the end of the about the year end of the, this years 
we will complete the restoration of 12 uh, houses building. Uh, it's uh, for uh, regional budget or uh, recovery energy and fund of liquidation of cons constitution. And uh, our uh, great partners of regions. Residential building according to modern energy efficiently uh, required restored as a result of the aggression of Russian Federation. We plan to finish two uh, houses, housing building by uh, September 25. But today we, today and now we designed two, we designed one of the building has building in order to start restoration in uh, uh, next years. Also, uh, by the end of the year, we plan to install and start four out of six generation plans from UNICEF and the Dutch government. It's a very, very uh, improved project. In uh, January 2025, we are waiting for eight cogeneration plan from UNDP. Thank you very much for this. And uh, are already carrying for prepare work today. We arrange the foundation and uh, prepare for other uh, plans. From us, from uh, our region, we uh, send to generation equipment. We will provide electrical energy to critical infrastructure facility for social facility and for people. This is beginning the implement of green recovery and UNDP. Mm, today, today we are starting uh, implementing to the project of uh, two to install a hybrid, hybrid uh, electrical solar electric station for five uh, children hospital. We have already received the uh, competition uh, components already for installation. Mm. We intend to complete in by the end of the year. Yes. One of green energy project in 1995 uh, is the installation for a hybrid solar power electric station for eight hospital uh, to meet our needs. If you want the main indicators for this project, uh, solar panel on the roof of the enterprise, uh, annual generation uh, more than 530 kilowatts per hour uh, a solar field a photo models uh, with a capacity of 430 kilowatts inverter group for 305 and other and other there is some example for his implementation of green projects uh, and the uh, reconstruction better than uh, it was due in the war. The most important project for our region, Ukraine and the inter civilized universe will be the end of the war because it causes global change in the climate and have uh, irreversible consecutions. Uh, who can see uh, the best three the video from uh, our friends uh, from Nipro she uh, this uh, video it's a goodly visualization what what we what why we live in Ukraine from Russian attacks.
the early the war is over the less damage and we will do not the global climate thank you very much thank you thank you victor and uh, thank you for continuing working even though there is uh, constant attacks from uh, from uh, uh, occupants aggressor uh, now um, i want to pass the floor to anton arekhov who is the uh, first deputy mayor of Zlatopin. Uh, dear Aton, uh, what projects do you implement in Zlatopil to enhance climate adaptation? What technologies do you prioritize to improve climate resilience and why you selected these particular technologies? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I uh, want to introduce uh, our community, uh, Zlatopil community, former Peromaisky, uh, and uh, the history our, for, from uh, the past. Uh, since 1990s, uh, uh, our community journey, journey has been a continu continuous balancing act between challenge and solution. Um, the closure of major enterprise um, Chemical plants was particularly impactful as it employed thousands found funded the local budget and supported our infrastructure. And uh, uh, we challenged the transformation of our uh, community because it's uh, like a rebirth. And uh, um, that journey was continued uh, 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 today. Um, so we uh, taking us from global approaches to localized solution for relying on the largest central power station to the developing decentralized heating districts uh, from un uncontrolled resource consumption to an automated energy monitoring system and from isolated energy saving measures to comprehensive energy plan targets and strategic strategies. Uh, uh, when we began, uh, our path towards um, energy efficiency, efficiency in 2017, 2017 uh, our focus wasn't expli explicitly on climate, climate adaptation. Uh, it was um, uh, uh, just practical measures for reducing exp expensive energy losses uh, due to constant local budget, budget uh, deficit. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, implementation of daily energy monitoring along with uh, assigning responsible staff at each facility uh, allowed us to reduce expenses to by more than 20 uh, persons within one year. And uh, another example is our system of heating districts, uh, which enable us to operate low temper temperature networks and contain issues within individual districts. It's uh, um, one of uh, uh, examples uh, we took uh, from uh, uh, one of our conference uh, with uh, specialist, uh, for example, from, from Belarus in 2019. Uh, and um, uh, they speak that that's, it's, it's uh, not impossible because uh, it's that doesn't work it's not that it doesn't work but it's work uh, and uh, uh, thanks uh, for uh, these changes uh, because now it's uh, um, compared with uh, our, our and our community um, have many um, problem with uh, huge uh, power uh, power, power uh, heating plants yeah and um, Mm. During this time, we also learned to attract funding from international foundations, credit card organization for building uh, um, uh, building re uh, retrofits and provide companies through uh, different payment mechanism and energy service contracts. Uh, for example, it's uh, um, heating. Uh, uh, um, improved heating system uh, on uh, municipality building uh, from uh, 2019 and uh, uh, 
la, uh, last year we um, with support of UNDP from UNDP and uh, with a private investor we uh, uh, built uh, solar station for a pump station of water system uh, in our community uh, it's about 350 uh, kilowatts uh, energy uh, fish energy uh, thanks to our global partners Ukraine is not facing this uh, challenge alone uh, um, and uh, and in what situation our focus uh, uh, from its efficiency uh, we um, uh, uh, to uh, resilience our, our infrastructure, enhancing our capacity with uh, withstand war-related challenge and recovery, uh, quickly recovery. Uh, this war uh, has brought both hardship and new opportunities. Uh, beyond uh, meeting urgent humanitarian, humanitarian needs, we have advanced new projects that not only increase our resilience, but also address climate changes and decarbonization. Some examples include Euro 5 uh, standards, municipal equipment, and uh, uh, tech technique. Uh, the construction of 350 kilowatt solar station to power drinking water and pumping station and solar power project for our waste, uh, waste water treatment facilities. Uh, it's eco-friendly char charging solution uh, to replace generation for energy repair crews and cognitive units in uh, that we uh, want to install it uh, um, a uh, few months in, in the city bullet room, uh, bullet uh, for a uh, heating, sta heating station. Uh, we have also arranged for a supply of uh, 1.5 uh, gigawatts of solar panels to establish a distributed generation system for the needs of our public facilities and the residential buildings. This is uh, an enormous challenge for us, but we are committed to our community. <clears throat> we uh, joined uh, the Covenant of Mayor in 2019, 19, uh, adopted a sustainable energy action plan in 20, uh, 2019, uh, too. and we are currently developing a municipal energy plan in line with national legislation. Throughout this journey, journey, we have not been alone. We have learned, implemented, and proved together with other partners. And now we uh, are once again transforming our vision from local solutions uh, to the art of thinking big. Uh, even like uh, events uh, like COVID-29 contribute to this realization, helping us uh, all see the bigger picture and understand our global responsibilities. I want to uh, say uh, thanks so much uh, for our partners for uh, this opportunity uh, to, to be uh, here and uh, for uh, opportunity for um, opportunity to uh, talk uh, talk uh, about uh, um, energy transition and uh, green deals and uh, uh, climate uh, uh, Change uh, with uh, all all uh, all over the world. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. The numbers of installed uh, distributed generation is impressive, and uh, one special thanks for highlighting energy management, the use of energy management, because uh, not always we need big investment to get the result, and the twenty percent decrease of energy consumption by implementing energy management system, this is very, very great result. So thank you very much for highlighting this and for your presentation. Uh, our next speaker is uh, uh, Oleg Sernyak uh, from, uh, he's mayor of Pustomete and uh, I uh, want kindly to invite you to speak. Uh, dear Oleg, uh, considering limited resources of the city because of the war, what instruments do you use to attract financing to address current challenges? Uh, what success cases uh, could you share with us? Thank uh, you. Thank you for uh, this possibility to 
talk about uh, this very important uh, spheres in our life. Uh, yes, we are in war. We fight for our independent of independent of our country, but we can't. Um, uh, for, for, uh, we, we must remember about, about our nature, about environment and about uh, our planet of Earth. Uh, and it's uh, very important uh, now uh, uh, for um, the reason because uh, we must uh, to rebuild our Ukraine, our all communities uh, where uh, live our people in new vision. And uh, our community is uh, maybe small. We have only 15,000 people, but we have uh, such problems as uh, colleagues, but uh, maybe smaller. And uh, we search uh, different uh, sources how to have a good uh, solution for these problems. And uh, as for me, we have uh, five uh, directions, uh, five main, main directions uh, for this. Uh, for the first, uh, we involve our businessmen uh, to uh, take part in uh, very diff uh, very important um, projects for our community uh, for example uh, we um, uh, re removed uh, all our collectors canalization pressure collectors for only business money not uh, budget not uh, from our people, but uh, from our businessmen, the entrepreneurs, uh, and uh, they were interested in uh, this uh, also uh, because it uh, is uh, for their possibilities to work uh, better and not uh, uh, have uh, many waste in environment. Uh, we also have uh, plans uh, to savage our um, uh, uh, parts of uh, our city, our villages, uh, only the uh, costs uh, of uh, our businessmen and uh, will uh, work at it uh, this year and uh, this uh, 2025 year. Uh, the second uh, direction of our um, action is um, uh, participating in uh, all uh, competitions, uh, in all grants uh, for uh, different funding. Uh, for example, uh, yesterday we um, talked uh, here about uh, projects of uh, GIS, GIZ, uh, and we uh, have a, a good project uh, related with ecological place in our community. We want uh, to have some uh, place uh, with uh, good uh, plantings, uh, with uh, renewable sources uh, for relaxing of people and uh, uh, without uh, different uh, carb carbon emissions to our atmosphere. And uh, this year we won uh, another project uh, with uh, a Polish uh, community. Uh, it was a project related with Interact. Uh, next, uh, we have uh, plans to remove uh, our uh, one uh, water pipe and uh, to build uh, solar panels on our uh, uh, sewage treatment facilities uh, and uh, it uh, uh, give us it will give us a good result for um, paying uh, less for uh, energy and uh, it will be a good result for atmosphere and uh, for our planet the third uh, our direction in our uh, action is uh, credits uh, we uh, work uh, for with different uh, uh, banks for example with european investment bank uh, we uh, will uh, thermo modernize uh, our three uh, buildings uh, for uh, some uh, programs uh, it's uh, two buildings of hospital our hospital and uh, one uh, our school and uh, we'll uh, get uh, two millions uh, Euro uh, next uh, some years and uh, this uh, credit uh, will be uh, paid uh, and will uh, uh, return to us uh, for 
less pay for energy for uh, our heating of our buildings and uh, it's uh, very important not uh, too afraid of credits it was uh, very uh, difficult to tell about this uh, in community because our people don't like credits but you know, it's our ukrainian mentality but uh, we go in this uh, direction because all europe all global community all people give uh, uh, get uh, uh, credits and it works in all uh, whole world the force our direction is um, uniting uniting with all uh, who uh, search for some uh, good ideas, uh, who wants uh, to solve uh, different problems. For example, we, uh, with uh, Lviv community and with uh, another uh, nine uh, communities near Lviv, uh, created a Lviv agglomeration, is uh, such organization uh, where, where we plan uh, uh, realize uh, different uh, projects uh, that are uh, common for us in uh, Lviv region and uh, for example the first uh, at which we work it uh, is revitalization of our lake Navalia it's a uh, uh, lake near Lviv we now uh, Dnipro is in Zaporizhia in uh, Vinnytsia is Pivdenny Buch Dnipro is in Kiev in uh, in another uh, countries uh, towns but in uh, Lviv we uh, don't have a, a water place a big water place and uh, uh, we believe that uh, our lake uh, in the future will be the water heart of uh, Lviv and uh, Lviv region. And uh, the fifth, uh, the last uh, our direction of our uh, action is uh, uh, search for good experience, uh, good experience in uh, the world. Now we are here for a good experience of other countries, uh, of other communities. Uh, and uh, last uh, week I was with my colleagues with Lviv uh, agglomeration in Czech Republic uh, where we uh, were in uh, Brno Metropoli is, and uh, we um, uh, watched uh, how uh, this metropolia back and uh, it was very interesting and uh, we um, this experience uh, get from different organizations for example from greenpeace uh, very important for us is uh, covenant of mayors who uh, unite uh, mayors of all country and uh, give uh, us um, knowledge about energy uh, efficiency and energy management. We also uh, has uh, energy manager, and uh, we think about how we can be better. Because I like to speak uh, my colleagues and all uh, people that uh, uh, our nature and ecological system is uh, very important because we didn't inherit our planet uh, from our grandparents, from our parents. We borrowed it from our children and uh, our grandchildren. So we must work so uh, because we must uh, to give our children and, and green children our Earth better than uh, we have. So all these five uh, directions are uh, important and uh, they are the best when they work uh, together together and uh, it will be uh, the best so uh, thank you very much uh, for this uh, con conversation and uh, we are uh, open for all communities and all uh, good uh, experience from other cities other countries and uh, all organizations Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation. It's very complex and very expiring. Uh, it's uh, 
it, it proves that there are many instruments that the community can use. And if community is active, they can benefit from many different uh, instruments and support. Uh, thank you very much for this and uh, wish you luck uh, with the plans. Uh, and now um, I want to um, give the floor to our next speaker. Uh, to Alexander Reshetnik, uh, uh, who is um, uh, uh, who is uh, uh, head of the sales uh, uh, in municipalities uh, and the uh, communal sector in Ukraxim Bank. I know that Ukraxim Bank is one of the leaders in providing access to affordable finance uh, for Ukrainian cities. Uh, dear Alexander, Alexander is, not, is with us online. Uh, dear Alexander. Please uh, share um, uh, local actions taken by municipalities uh, that serve as models for resilience, uh, which are already funded by bank or are in the pipeline for the funding for the nearest future. Uh, Відразу хотів перепросити, буду говорити українською мовою, не наскільки досконально маю англійський, але працюю над цим. Перш за все, дякую за можливість прийняти участь у вашому заході. Ми вас будемо перекладати. Будь ласка, mm -hmm. робіть паузу кожні два речення. Добре. Uh, thank you for inviting me to this event. I will continue in Ukrainian, but uh, will be translated. Uh, маємо безліч uh, кейсів по фінансуванню муніципалітетів. В принципі, Зараз е, найбільша увага до кейсів по відновлюваним джерелам енергії, по енергоефективності і по відновленню. We have several cases of uh, involving uh, funding for uh, our projects here in the, on the municipal level. Most of them focus on the topics of renewable energy sources and energy efficiency. Ну, перш за все, все починається, попередні спікери говорили про енергоменеджмент. Тому все повинно розпочинатися з енергоаудиту. As uh, previous speakers already mentioned, the first thing you should do on a local level is uh, uh, energy management. So the first uh, stage of any project is energy audit. Енергоаудит дає можливість дати відповідь на питання, які заходи необхідно профінансувати Якої, якого ефекту вдасться досягти. Energy audits help us to determine which measures and solutions should be financed and uh, which outcomes will be achieved. Муніципалітети вже навчилися проводити енергоаудит або власними силами, або залучають експертів, або міжнародні фінансові організації, які дають їм змогу провести повноцінний енергоаудит. Municipalities in Ukraine have already learned how to conduct such energy audits uh, with its own expertise or involving external experts, sometimes with the financial support of international uh, organizations. Останнім часом найбільшими спостюдженими запитами і проектами є проекти по встановленню сонячних станцій для власного споживання. Uh, the, in the, the, the biggest demand and the, the most common cases recently are installing solar power plants uh, for own consumption. Ключовою перевагою даних проєктів є те, що кейс самоокупний і джерело, і джерело обслуговування кредиту економія. And the, more, the biggest advantage of uh, this kind of type of projects is that they uh uh funding itself and uh, actually the main uh source of uh profit is saving savings такі проекти можна реалізовувати або напряму від муніципалітету або від його комунального підприємства або з залученням мескої компанії також є приклади на ринку So uh, there are two types of uh, possible uh, involvement, uh, attracting of investments into such projects. 
first one is a direct modality uh, with uh, municipalities and the second one is involving uh, ESC uh, companies that are now offering such services in Ukraine. Банки, як правило, готові фінансувати або муніципалітет, або комунальне підприємство, або ЕСКО компанію на виконання ЕСКО контракту. So uh, banks in Ukraine are quite uh, eager to provide financing either to municipalities or to uh, public uh, municipal uh, organizations itself or to uh, ESCO companies. Uh... Найбільше потреби в заміщенні є, якщо говорити про муніципалітет, то це, як правило, комунальні підприємства по водопостачанню, які споживають багато електроенергії і мають площі на своїх водонасосних станціях для встановлення потужних сонячних станцій. Among the potential uh, targets for such programs are mostly communal enterprises in the cities, especially uh, we are uh, highlighting the uh, possibilities for uh, water supplying companies in uh, local cities and towns in Ukraine because firstly they consume a lot of power so there is a big potential for savings and uh, secondly they have a lot of uh, available space to install these uh, power plants, solar power plants. Крім підприємств водопостачання, також зацікавленість є в лікарні, які мають великі там будівлі і дахи для розміщення панелей, а також підприємства там електротрансу, можливо, підприємства по теплоенерго. On top of water supply companies, among the top potential target companies, uh, public companies to uh, be involved in such projects are uh, public uh, transport companies, uh, uh, hospitals, and uh, uh, providing of uh, providers of heat uh, services to local population. Крім сонячних станцій, популярними є проекти по когенерації. Дуже багато муніципалітетів отримали від міжнародних донорів самі установки. По суті, приходять в банк для фінансування самого об'єкту, адже це потребує проведення будівельних робіт і введення його в експлуатацію. Apart from uh, solar power plants, uh, there is also a huge opportunity for local uh, municipalities to be involved in uh, projects uh, on installing so-called cogeneration uh, uh, installments infrastructure. So these uh, projects also involve a lot of uh, preparation, uh, building uh, works, and uh, uh, they need a lot of cooperation. Крім того, тут також є варіанти, коли або напряму фінансується муніципалітет або комунальне підприємство, або вони, по суті, залучають приватного інвестора, який приходить, фінансує проект зі своєю когенераційною установкою, і вони в нього викуповують об'єми, які йде генерація по електроенергії, а також тепла. Такі кейси також є на ринку. Uh, so there are two possible ways uh, for such type of uh, projects. The first one is uh, the same, the, the direct modality for municipality to, to, to attract some investment. And the second one is to attract a private investor who actually uh, buys and installs its uh, generation unit. And then uh, the municipality purchase uh, some volume of electricity generated by this unit. Крім того, якщо говорити про класичну енергоефективність, дуже розповсюдженими є проекти в містах по заміні освітлення, по встановленню енергоефективних ледовських ламп. Є проекти в нас банку, де покупність знову ж таки на економію складає до п'яти років. And uh, one more type of uh, projects that is uh, widely 
uh, common in Ukraine is uh, improving the lighting systems of, of Ukrainian cities, installing LED lamps. Actually, uh, it's very profitable, and in five years, you can actually cover the expenses. Municipalities have, in principle, themselves have projects. The only thing that is necessary is financing. Причому, можливо, фінансування від місцевих банків не повністю їх задовольняє, адже місцеві банки, я маю на увазі українські банки, не мають довгого фондування як міжнародні фінансові організації. So, as a conclusion, Ukrainian municipalities and uh, local uh, громадас have a lot of projects, have already a lot of projects, but they need financing, they need more financing, and uh local banks can't co- cover all the needs because local ukrainian banks uh, they don't offer long term loans and that's why it's uh, high time for international banks and financial institutions to step in європейський інвестбанк єбрр який в принципі фінансують довгий час вже муніципалітети напряму або їх комунальні підприємства розглядають можливість співпраці з банками Адже команди ЄБРР і її, які є в них, не дозволяють в повній мірі відпрацювати всіх, всі міста, тому є якась пріоритизація. Наприклад, той самий ЄБРР, наприклад, пріоритизація проєктів від там, 8 мільйонів євро. So such uh, huge financial institutions as uh, European Investment Bank, EIB and uh, EBRD, uh, they are considering opportunities to uh, collaborate with uh, Ukrainian national banks on providing uh, financing because they can't cover all the needs by themselves, by their own teams and uh, infrastructure. And, uh, for example, EBRD is uh, considering uh, involving in the projects that are over 8 million euros in budget. А, а я нагадаю, що в 23-му році внесені зміни в бюджетний кодекс і, і, і селищні і сільські громади отримали право на місцеве запозичення. And I would also like to remind that uh, there have been some changes in the budget code of Ukraine and uh, uh, local, uh, local authorities even in small towns and villages can now uh, attract uh, internal loans. Саме з такими потенційними клієнти, клієнтами можуть працювати, в принципі, українські банки, тому міжнародним фінансовим організаціям uh, вони зараз ведуть переговори. Краще зафондувати український банк, щоб банк мав більш uh, довге фондування і міг фінансувати на 10 років. So this is a huge opportunity for Ukrainian uh, banks. Uh, uh, and international uh, financial institutions and banks uh, can provide uh, funding to Ukrainian national banks so they can uh, provide funding in their uh, turn to these small uh, communities in Ukraine. Є муніципалітети, які, в принципі, вже самі можуть навчити технічних спеціалістів робити енергоаудит і залучати кошти, які мають досвід. Тому ключовий посил Необхідно реалізовувати проекти, які є сьогодні, адже більшість із них є самоокупними, і джерелом обслуговування є економія. So there are many municipalities in Ukraine who can share their experience and expertise and insights with other uh, communities on uh, how to implement such projects, how to conduct energy audits. And uh, the main conclusion is that uh, uh, it is possible and it need to be it needs to be done actually on a national level scale. Дякую за увагу, якщо є питання, готовий відповісти. Yeah, thank you for your attention and I'm ready to answer your questions. Alexander, дуже дякую. Alexander, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for removing this uh, uh, the most one of the most uh, the biggest barriers for our communities. Uh, uh, the access to the affordable uh, financing. Um, and uh, now uh, I would like uh, to ask our audience uh, if anyone has any questions uh, uh, to our panelists.
Uh, so if there are no questions from the audience, I have one uh, prepared question for the brainstorm for us. Uh, and I think we will do this uh, with translation into languages because maybe it will be easier to brainstorm uh, for someone in Ukrainian, for someone in English. So um, the, uh, um, the question is the following. Uh, what do you think um, should be done on the central or, or local level or both uh, uh, to be prepared for the future recovery uh, considering this uh, build back better or build back greener um, principle? І коли зараз ми переходимо до такого маленького брейншторму, обміну думками та ідеями, ми будемо його робити двомовним, тобто ви можете розповідати з українською, я буду перекладати. І питання від модератора Анни Жовтенко полягає в тому, що, на вашу думку, можна зробити на національному, центральному та регіональному рівні для імплементації проєктів за принципом відбудувати краще, ніж було для того, щоб ці проєкти було легше реалізовувати. На мій погляд, ну, на рівні громад, звісно, що велике питання стосовно кадрів, стосовно фахівців, які можуть до цього бути дотичні. І, звісно, в цьому і полягає найбільший челендж для... Yeah, uh, in my opinion, the biggest challenge for uh, local communities is a lack of uh, well-trained staff, of expertise of our employees at a local level. Тому це точно треба готувати команди, готувати молодь, навчати людей і робити це завчасно, заохочувати їх працювати саме в тому напрямку. So there is a huge need in capacity building, a huge need in educational programs, in involvement of young specialists and uh, incentivizing them to delve into this topic and of course it would be better to do it beforehand. Ну і звичайно так само треба робити такі саме зміни по вертикалі, робити офіси впровадження проектів на регіональному рівні і на центральному в тому числі. And in my opinion uh, on regional and national level uh, there should be implemented such solutions as offices of solutions actually so uh, offices of, uh, that will uh, facilitate implementing these projects on uh, local level до прикладу у нас є агенція енергоефективності агентство з так з, з енергоефективності, але немає регіональних представництв, і вся умовна комунікація йде через людей, які не мають дотичності до цього напрямку. Вони не, навіть не розуміють, про що це. Я маю на увазі регіональний рівень. So, for example, we have uh, established the state agency on energy efficiency, and they are a national uh, body, Uh, of uh, executive power, as I understand. And uh, the problem is that uh, there is no link between uh, this agency at the national level and at the local level, because people on a regional level who are like uh, mediators, facilitators of this cooperation, they don't have enough expertise and often even don't understand what we are, want from them. Рішенням цього могло б бути дійсно або створення окремих представництв офісів, або покладання цих необхідних скілів на регіональній агенції, агенції регіонального розвитку. And uh, the possible solution for this is either establishing regional branches of this agency or um delegation of authority to regional offices of development. Thank you very much, Anton. I uh, I don't know if uh, Maria is still with us, but uh, as far as I, as I heard that... Uh, I, I still here, Anna. 
uh, Maria, uh, could you please comment on the, uh, because I, as far as I know that the uh, State Agency of Energy Efficiency has already established the regional, uh, re regional, regional branches. So uh, please uh, maybe uh, provide some information on this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, yes, we uh, have uh, several uh, offices of decarbonization and energy efficiency regional offices, but it's uh, uh, more pilot projects because it's uh, seven offices. It is not enough for all Ukraine. And we established these offices with uh, in cooperation with the local authority. It is not our offices. It's just a consultation center in uh, collaboration with the local authorities. And uh, of course, I think um, it's very important to uh, development uh, such uh, offices and development uh, communication with uh, local authorities because the main uh, decision on energy efficiency uh, make uh, in region, make a local after municipality in family, in business. So we need more communication and I think we need to develop an energy management system, especially in municipality because uh, it is about advocacy for municipality uh, in energy efficiency question, in project development, uh, in energy and climate planning, which is very important for uh, implementing any project on local level. And uh, we are ready to uh, develop uh, such uh, facilities as our local um, offices, uh, regional offices, and invite all our friends from region to uh, join us in this, uh, our initiative. Maria, thank you very thank much for you. your comment. Uh, you see, this uh, only proves that uh, the work you do is very important and very needed uh, on the regional and local level. Thank you very much. Uh, colleagues, uh, who else want to uh, comment? Or uh, I see the, there is a hand uh, from Oksana. Oksana, the floor is yours. Yes, I think we need to improve borough capacity of municipalities to attract financing from international financial uh, finance institutions or private investors. And we need to review some taxes policy and uh, to, sit, to sit around the table with, together with Ministry of Finance that to discuss how to remove barriers um, uh, within um, uh, donor and uh, international financial institutions. Uh, program. Uh, second issue, we need to have some um, green and resilience uh, criteria for project selection because just now it doesn't matter if municipality uh, has a long, strong uh, long uh, term strategy or no uh, project could be financed. If you speak about sustainable, green, and resilient future, we need to add this criteria for project selection. And as a third one, we need to discuss again the uh, procedures um, we, uh, with cooper within cooperation with international financial finance institutions. Because so just now, Stomate is uh, taking uh, a part in uh, EAB program, but uh, the um, period that to sign contract and start project could be more than one year. It's uh, usually one and a uh, half year. It's too long for Ukraine. If you would like to speed the process of project implementation, we need to remove some barriers. Thanks. 
Roxana, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, colleagues, uh, does anyone else? Some words maybe uh, my colleagues uh, have said all right, uh, but I uh, think that uh, we um, must have more um, uh, more uh, more participating participating uh, state in this uh, policy because uh, for example i was in czech republic and we have seen that uh, many projects uh, are realized uh, with uh, big opportunity with big uh, help from uh, um, uh, state uh, because uh, we have moments that uh, we are here because we think about uh, energy efficiency about uh, different problems but we have many local governments that uh, don't think about it and uh, uh, but our ecology our nature it's it doesn't have borders and uh, we must uh, think all about it and it must be stronger statement policy yes we as local governments must uh, be the place of realization of this policy policy but uh, we must have uh, more standards more uh, dif uh, different solutions for how to do and uh, how to uh, have the solution solves uh, when it will be it will be good result for all our ukraine not only for postomity zlatopil or zaporizhia or another some uh, it must be our common uh, statement uh, policy thank you thank you very much and i hope that uh, other uh, uh, local authorities uh, leaders from regions uh, will uh, uh, take uh, example uh, take take your work as example and uh, uh, follow uh, uh, what you are doing uh, does anyone else want to uh, comment if not then uh, i think that uh, we can wrap up our panel for today thank you very much everyone for taking part and for presenting uh, and um, Actually, after this uh, discussion, uh, there is a hope that uh, uh, Ukraine not only will survive this war, but also after that, it will be rebuilt in a more sustainable and resilient way. So thank you very much. Thank you uh, to all our participants online. Yeah. Have a good day and stay safe, please. Thank you. Please stay for, for, for a couple minutes. We will take a picture. <laughs>